In a world four degrees warmer, precipitation could decline between 20 and 40 percent in the end of the century in Patagonia, the Caribbean, Central America, and Central Brazil, and droughts could decrease by 20 percent throughout the region. This would reduce livestock and grain production and would have a major impact on agricultural exports, decreasing Latin America's productive capacity and affecting millions of farmers who already feel the effects of global warming. Faz 12 anos que eu estou aqui, nunca veio assim chuva para não fazer água de qualidade nenhuma. Sempre a gente tem uma barragem aqui e um açude, isso pequeno aqui. Sempre eles enchem, né? Quando não tem o grande, mantendo aqui a irrigação, mas, a gente, mas faz dois anos que isso não, não choveu para nada. To mitigate the impact of this new reality, Latin America is developing several crops capable of growing in adverse climate conditions. Additionally, it is establishing seed banks to preserve crop germplasm and guarantee the food supply. Allí se inundó todo, allí creció bastante el río exageradamente. Estamos hablando que subió quizás pasado los 3, 3 metros y medio, 4, y devastó lo que es toda esta zona. ¿verdad? rompiendo brechas y metiéndose, si es posible, hasta la cancha de fútbol del centro de, de la colonia. Today, more than 8.4 million Latin Americans are exposed to hurricanes and 29 million live in vulnerable coastal areas. In a world four degrees warmer, tropical cyclones could increase by 80%, which would lead to higher human and material losses, currently estimated at U.S. 2 billion annually. Although the region is preparing to mitigate the impact of these natural phenomena, investments are still needed to create safer, climate-adapted infrastructure, better climate monitoring systems, and improved services for vulnerable populations. Por el calentamiento global que se está produciendo en estas últimas décadas, hay muchos glaciares, sobre todo los que están por debajo de los 5.400 metros, que están todos retrocediendo a gran velocidad y ya se conocen muchos ejemplos de glaciares que han desaparecido. In a world two degrees warmer, between 80 and 90 percent of Andean glaciers could disappear, whereas if the Earth's temperature increases by four degrees, nearly all glaciers would be lost. Melting ice would trigger changes in river levels, which would mean more risk of flooding and shortages of fresh water for rural and urban populations. The loss of water to the highlands and the consequent degradation of the Amazon rainforest would result in more carbon emissions into the atmosphere, which would intensify global warming in the region. By the end of the century, it is estimated that ocean levels will rise by a maximum of 65 centimeters in a world that is two degrees warmer. In a world that is four degrees warmer, ocean levels could rise more than a meter on the Atlantic coast of Brazil and some areas of the Caribbean. This increase threatens seaside communities, especially several Caribbean cities, whose population has nowhere to take refuge. The gradual warming of ocean waters would also affect local fishing. Fish populations are migrating to colder waters. Estimates indicate an increase in potential fish capture of up to 100% in southern Latin America. However, in coastal waters of Uruguay and southern Brazil, the maximum fish capture potential would decline by more than 50%. With respect to Caribbean waters and parts of the Atlantic coast of Central America, reductions could range from 5 to 50%. Fish capture off the coast of Peru and Chile is expected to decrease by up to 30%. The impact of global warming is evident in every corner of the planet, but developing regions will suffer the most if Earth's temperature increases by four degrees. To keep the increase to below two degrees, global emissions must be reduced by 40 to 70 percent between 2010 and 2050, and by zero or negative levels by 2100. To achieve this, governments could promote the use of renewable energy eliminate subsidies of fossil fuels, and establish a carbon price. This is our last chance. The choice is ours. <laughs>